Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our Getting Started video series here with SEM Forex. We put together this series to help you get up and running with your trading, to making a nice smooth transition. As we continue moving along, we want to make sure that you know that any form of investing stock, Forex, futures, options, cryptocurrency, no matter what it is, there is a chance of loss. You can lose money, never risk more than you can afford to lose. And as we begin to talk about charts and indicators, uh, we want you to know this is just for educational purposes. We are not endorsing any indicators. We're not recommending any indicators or chart types. We just want to make sure you understand how to apply these to your chart so that you can do your own analysis, trade at your own risk. So yes, this video is about indicators. We, again, we're not endorsing or recommending indicators. We just want to make sure that you know how to add indicators into your chart setup. So let's go ahead and pull up NT4 and take a look. In our last video, we did remind you as we were looking at the different chart types. It does apply here a little bit because again, as we talk about our profiles that you can load, or we talk about our uh, chart templates that you can load, you can have indicators as a part of that. And so, uh, and remember the reason we do that is so that we can quickly analyze what's going on in the market, jump from chart to chart, and the way you want to, uh, if you want to use indicators as a part of that, you can quickly load that out without having to apply them every single time. So what do I mean by apply indicators every single time? Well, over here in our navigator window, we have our little plus sign that has all of these indicators. That's great. And some of them are categorized for you. Trending, volume. Uh, also up here, you can see our little plus sign here. The indicators are there also, and they're also categorized here. So it's all about how you want to uh, take a look at the market. I'm going to go a little bit old school. And since I'm going to old school, let's go with the very first one. Let's go with a moving average. So I'm simply going to double click over here. It's going to give me a couple things, what it's about. Um, in the input, you can go in. If you simply double click in there, you can change it. Who doesn't know what a 20 simple moving average is, right? You can see simple. You can uh, make it uh, uh, exponential if need be. I'm going to say OK, and there it is, that nice red line right there. And you can also um, click on the properties and colors. You know, if you want to change the color to be whatever it is your, your heart so desire, there you go. You can also change the width and the style, dashes, or make it thicker or skinnier. OK? So that's how we add. Obviously, again, the way we add indicators this way, now you can go up here and find your uh, indicator that you're looking for. Uh, trading 101 with these oscillators, MACD. Uh, it gives you a chance to change the input levels that you want. Again, I'm not recommending anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put in there. You can drag to make this however you want. You got your histograms. You can go into the properties and change them however you want, get rid of the histogram. Um, again, trading one on one. In addition to MACD, how about an RSI or a stochastic? Let's go with RSI. There we go. And say OK. So there we go. Trading one on one. Moving averages, <laughs> MACD, RSI. Um, now, if I right click and I go to indicator list, it's going to show them. I can go in, I can edit them if I want to. That pulls up this window. You remember that? Or if I want to, I can click on it, I can delete, and that will take it away from the chart and everything will resize. So that is how you add an indicator. You can simply double click it over here in our navigator panel, or you can come up to our indicator list and you can add it this way. That is the simple way of how we apply, how we add indicators onto our chart. Now, some of you may have gone out and found an indicator on YouTube or Google, or you have purchased one from some Forex uh, leading expert. That's great. I'm going to do a short video next on how to add a custom indicator. But for those of you who just want to know how to add an indicator, this video should do just what you need. Thanks, guys, and I will see you next time.